Well, uh, firstly, if you could just tell me a little bit about your character that you're playing in the film. Mr. Curtis Carter. <laughs> he's shady as they come. Very, very shady. Um, you kind of find out he's, he's, he's linked to a lot. Um, he's, in, he's involved in the corrupt system. <laughs> and um, he's a shady man. <laughs> There's no flaws with him. He ain't, he ain't hard to work out. You just know that he, he, he's a dodgy dude and he, he deserves what he gets in the end. <laughs> that, that must be quite fun to play though, I imagine. It, it's kind of good for me because growing up in, you know, on a council estate in um, South London, it was quite easy to um, get into the character, <laughs> to relate to his ways, because you see a lot of people like that um, in South London. But it was enjoyable, definitely, definitely enjoyable. And because obviously you're still relatively so early on in your film career, and I'm just mm. wondering, I mean, a lot of um, sort of getting part of you're very much reliant on being given the chance to prove yourself. You must yeah. be quite thankful to George and, and to Pierre for giving you that kind of opportunity in this. Definitely. Um, being a musician, being known as a musician and then coming into acting, you're kind of people are like, you know, ooh, so another rapper trying to act. But um, I've kind of been prepared to, to learn my trade the last, I would say, seven years. And that was kind of for me doing a, a I've done a musical in, in the West End and that helped me to learn my trade. And I, I was in a play with Angela Ma. And obviously my bandmate is a big actor, Ashley Waters. So he gave me a lot of, um, a lot of advice and I knew I had it in me. Like I said, it was just kind of um, proving myself um, to the public and I shot a film with, with Michael Madsen uh, about three years ago, The Big I Am, and just started to get myself on the ladder. So hopefully I've got respect now. Rufus says I'm good, so that's good enough. <laughs> So back yeah. when you were in so with Ashley Walters, did you, yeah. you used to talk about your sort of aspirations and getting into acting one day? Or was that always something that you didn't really sort of think about at the time? It was weird because Ashley was always an actor from five years old. I mean, he was in Grain Jill from five years. So he's been doing it all his life. That's all he, all he knows. But um, I remember when we used to kind of, because I'm kind of a hyperactive character and there's I've got a bit about me. Ashley used to always say to me, you're going to be an actor. But to me, it was just words then. And then I got... 2003, I got casted for a Steven Seagal film and I thought, is, is he got a crystal ball or something? <laughs> Guys, is this a joke? And I've never looked back ever since. So obviously now Ash has kind of got into like the directing side of things. So obviously he's got a good eye for, for an actor. So. so would you like to collaborate with him one day? That'd be quite, quite at the At the right time. Yeah. I think me collaborating with Ashley in a, in, in a film at this stage is typical, you know, considering we both come from the same group and you know, I'm a, I, I'm gonna, I want to concentrate on my acting and, and you know, do it myself. I don't, um, when it comes to shooting a film with me and him, you never know. Bad Boy Six, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so, is this something you'd like to do now from now? Do you think, reckon this film is the kind of the path you'd like to see yourself taking, sort of more predominantly from from this point onwards? Or I'm, I'm heavily involved in acting, anyway. It's been like that for, like I said, the, the the last, you know, six years. It's just kind of the roles that I'm getting now. They're getting bigger. And um, I'm I'm grateful for it, but I enjoy acting. is is a is a different outlet for me. is um is a different you know get away from music, and I, I I enjoy it. And like I said, I'm I'm learning my trade and I'm prepared to work hard. So when you've been successful, kind of every field, I suppose. I mean, you've had music, mm. theatre, now film, and yeah. even football. You're, you're, I'm, 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 Crazy. I think you're, you're half good at. So I just yeah. wondering, uh, is there one you feel most comfortable? At? Is there one that you feel is more like is your calling? I suppose. Oh gosh, well, bit of knowledge. Yeah. Um, apparently, me and Nelly. The rapper yeah. are the only two people in the world to have been successful at kind of every different kind of genre. Like Nelly was a professional baseball player, and obviously I was a professional footballer, footballer in my time. But which one would I pick out? I probably watch more football than I listen to music, considering I've achieved I've, I've achieved everything I'm um, in music. But I don't know. I just like new challenges. I'm not gonna like pick out one because I might. I got an attitude. Limit your talent. You know, you limit your funds. So. I'm just enjoying doing everything. Back to the film. Uh, I was just wondering, because obviously as, as a Londoner, so I, mean, so I think we were raised, born in Battersea. Right? That's right, yeah. And obviously one of the biggest sort of scenes in the films in Battersea. And I was just wondering how you think uh, George and Pierre have gone about presenting London. Do you think this is a quite honest portrayal and do you think this is a world that you can relate to? Oh, definitely. I mean, you've got levels of um, gangsterism. You know, you've got, the, you got, the, you got the street gangsters and then you've got that kind of mafia level of gangster, you know? and. I believe like this is kind of like the, the, the top end of, of, of being a gangster in London, you know, when you're kind of, you know, paying off the police and dodgy deals and the whole cat and mouse thing. So it, it wasn't um, hard for me to, to relate to. And just finally, I mean, it's a great cast as well. I mean, mm. of Gabriel Byrne, for example, it must have been, and Rufus Sewell, of course. I mean, it must have been a really great to be around these kind of people, such experience and so talented as well. I mean, to turn around and say that Rufus Sewell is my friend. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's crazy. I, I'm watching films like The Illusionist. I'm thinking, it's ruthless, isn't it? You know, it's it's an honour to to be in a film with people like you know Gabriel Byrne. His name speaks for itself. Rufus, James Frain. I mean, come on, come on, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm I'm living a dream right now. Well, thank you so much for your time today. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, thank you.